What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kelvin Krupiak and today I'm gonna to take an expensive outfit from GQ and try to recreate it on a budget. All right guys, so for the first video in this series, we're gonna be recreating this outfit that I found from GQ's Instagram. I love GQ and I love using a lot of the outfits they put together as inspiration for myself. However, it can be hard to recreate an outfit from GQ when the total cost is just over a thousand dollars. This is Michael B. Jordan and this outfit is incredibly stylish. So even though the color palette is very straightforward, there's still a lot of subtle things going on here. There's nothing too over the top or vibrant and what that does for an outfit is it helps accentuate the details. So the black and white stripes, for example, right around the cuffs and the neck, those are very common characteristics of varsity jackets. However, because of the overall layout of the outfit, these definitely draw a bit more attention. And if you look closely, you can also see that he's wearing a knit tie, which adds a completely different texture to the outfit. And finally, instead of a solid color or a striped pattern, he has what I would almost consider a white noise pattern on his trousers. So what I'm gonna do for you guys is show you each individual item that I picked up when I was trying to recreate this outfit, as well as break down the individual cost of those items. And then towards the end of the video, you're gonna see the entirety of the outfit as a whole. So make sure you stick around for that. And I think we'll go ahead and start with the pants. And to be honest, I had zero luck at most of the consignment stores and off-price retailers that I like to visit most frequently. That doesn't mean you'll necessarily have the same type of luck that I did because inventory obviously can vary from location to location. So definitely go check those types of places out. Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Burlington, Plato's Closet. What I did find though was these pants right here and I was fine with these. They're a little bit darker than what he's wearing in the picture. But I found these over at Target for right around $14. They were on clearance. These trousers are from Goodfellow and that is a brand that you have seen here on this channel before and I also believe that is a brand that Target owns. I also managed to find these trousers on Target's website so I will link to them down below in the video description if you wanna check them out. If you do decide to pick them up for yourself though then I do have to warn you they are slightly misleading with respect to their fit. They say slim fit but I would almost go as far as to say that they're a skinny fit. I actually had to move up a size to get a pair that fit my waist, thighs, and calves properly. As a result of having to move up in size I did have to get the pants hemmed which was another $13 but now they fit me perfectly. So total cost for the pants came out to right around $27 after getting them hemmed. Next, we have this gray sweater, which is something that I already had. And you guys have actually seen me wear this on the channel a few different times in the past. And this particular sweater is 100% wool. I picked it up from Express and they normally sell their sweaters for anywhere from 50 to $70 over there. If you do wanna bring that cost down a little further though, while I didn't find anything like this over at Target, I did find something very similar on ASOS, which is one of my favorite places to shop online. I couldn't find the exact shade of gray, but I found some things that were more than appropriate and would still work very well with this outfit. Now onto the jacket, and as I said in the beginning of the video, he's wearing a varsity jacket, but I actually had a bomber jacket that has very similar characteristics in terms of the change in material with the sleeves and the torso. The brand is Kenneth Cole, and I found it for right around $98 on Amazon, and I think it's very close to the jacket that you see in the image. So I decided to just use that. The biggest difference between a bomber and a varsity, obviously being that the varsity jacket is gonna have buttons and the bomber jacket is gonna have a zipper, but it fits in color-wise and fit-wise very well, so I think this will be an adequate substitute for the varsity jacket. You guys have also seen me wear this jacket before in my men's fall lookbook. If you haven't seen that, but you're curious as to how this jacket fits on me and what it looks like with a sweater underneath, for example, I'll have a link to the video right down below in the description. And you'll probably also see a card in the top right or left-hand side of your screen. Also, like I said, this jacket is the most expensive thing on the outfit. So if you guys wanna conserve your budget a bit more, I think you could wear everything either without a jacket or with a jacket that you already have. As long as it still fits into the overall color scheme of the outfit, you're still gonna have something that looks cohesive and is still really stylish to wear. Next, we have the classic white dress shirt. And I think this is another spot where you can actually save some money. So I picked mine up from Burlington's and they normally go for anywhere from 15 to $20 over there. No, it's not a particularly high end dress shirt, but I think this is a great spot to save some money when you're recreating an outfit like this, because the only thing people are gonna be seeing is the collar and the cuffs. You can definitely feel the difference in quality between a dress shirt like this and one that's say around $90, which is something that I have in my closet. But again, because you're only gonna be seeing part of the shirt, I don't think there's a need to buy a really expensive shirt if you're trying to recreate this outfit. 
And finally, to round everything out, we have a black knit tie here with a polka dot pattern. And going back and looking at the image, I think he might have been wearing a gray knit tie, but in the end, I settled on a black knit tie. I chose to go with a pattern here on my tie because I'm missing the stripes on my jacket and I'm trying to make up for that. If you take a pattern away from one place on an outfit, you're more than welcome to add that pattern back in somewhere else, or maybe a completely different pattern. It doesn't matter as long as there's balance. Now with knit ties, you'll more than likely be sticking with a forehand knot because knit ties are a bit bulkier than more traditional ties. I do have a video on how to tie a forehand knot. I will link that down below in the description as well if you wanna check that out. Now with respect to price, you guys have a lot of different options here. So I'm gonna to link to a few different ties that I found on Amazon and you guys can pick one that suits your budget appropriately. And after the tie, depending on the different options that you decide to go with, the total for me came out to between 203 and $238. But again, you can save almost $100 on that estimation if you're using a jacket you already own or you decide to rock this outfit without a jacket completely. And there's the outfit in its entirety, guys. Links to everything that I picked up personally will be found in the description down below. And if you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful, hit that thumbs up right down below. And if you would like to see this become a recurring series on my channel, then drop a comment and let me know. Also, feel free to send me screenshots from GQ, Esquire, Men's Health, wherever it is, and maybe I can recreate that outfit in a future video. Here's the outfit that I'm planning on trying to recreate in the next installation of this series. Leave a comment down below and let me know if that's something you guys wanna see. And other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.